WeberNet, and welcome back to my playthrough of Super Castlevania 4. I am now moving on to stage 3, and I'm once again that little pink dot moving across the map. Yeah, we're going to be going through caverns and going up waterfalls and doing all sorts of cool Simon Belmont stuff, so let's get started, shall we? Alright, and whoa, hey! <laughs> Damn bats! <laughs> of course it's something I would do. <laughs> Typical. Alright, these guys right here, you just gotta land to them with some boomerangs, and not only does that help destroy them, it also helps slow down the Super Nintendo processor, because there's too many things on screen. <laughs> you gotta love it. Okay, I hope you're enjoying the soundtrack. A bunch of harps and dark music. And all those multi-layered backgrounds. It's amazing. Alright, kill the kamikaze bat. Way to go, me. Oh, check out these cool natural formations on the floor. Spikes, you know? Something you'd find in any cavern, right? Spike floors. <laughs> Completely normal. Alright, I'm gonna go down here. And I'm gonna go into this little secret area right here. You know, his whip is really strong. You can just whip right through solid rock. <laughs> Pretty strong whip. Okay, and... Oh, it looks like we have some candle meat, but it actually looks more like wall meat. But it's in a candle, so I guess it does qualify candle meat, right? Alright, moving on through here. Through this beautiful level. I'm gonna go right down here and kill this guy off. Yeah, look, look, this is not a speed run. So if that's what you came here to see, this is totally the opposite. I'm just after this heart right here. And you'll notice that I'm avoiding the fire bombs. Or holy water, whatever you want to call it. I call it fire bombs, honestly. I mean, look, do you call these crosses or do you call them boomerangs? I call them boomerangs. So there. <laughs> I mean, I guess, hey, look, we all have opinions, right? Okay going past some more natural formations of spikes on the floor, so hey look, you know, if you ever find yourself spelunking, just be careful of floor spikes. That's all. Alright, so here's the next craziest enemy, which is these stalactites. And, uh, and I find it kind of funny, it's sort of like Dracula's so desperate that now he's hired on natural geologic formations to take me on and murder me. <laughs> okay, let's go on. Here we are on the great waterfall part of the level. I'm going to scale this whole waterfall slowly because of all the crazy platforming involved. Yes, all the challenge that Super Nintendo could possibly bring. <laughs> no, seriously though, I mean, if, if this were like the first or third Castlevania games, yeah, this, this level would be nearly impossible be like tons of Medusa heads flying around and axe knights. It would just throw like everything at you. That'd be like, typical. Speaking of Castlevania 3, these little fuzzy guys right here are actually return enemies from, from that game. That's always nice to have some return enemies, right? Okay, so as I kind of speed my way through here, you'll, you'll notice that I'm staying ahead of all these enemies. You gotta keep doing that to kind of make this level a lot easier. And that's also like something I had said in my earlier videos about the fact that you can whip in several different directions. Yeah, comes in super handy in this level. I mean, you know, look, it may seem a little cheap or, you know, cheating slightly, but hey, you know, it's, it's how I roll. I mean, yeah, sure, the enemies can't see me coming, but at least I win, right? Okay. Getting close to the end here. I've also maxed out on all my hearts at this point. <laughs> so, I got plenty of... Plenty of weapons. Okay. Let's see what's at the top here. And... Oh. Nothing. Wow, how totally anticlimactic. Well, let's move on to the next part of the level then. Okay, so here we have mermen, or fishmen, whatever you want to call them. And, uh, we are being led into this level by some smooth jazz, right? And, whoa, check it out, all these little pillars falling. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it, level, I get it. This level is falling apart, just like the Super Nintendo processor when there's too many things going on. Yeah. Oh, look at this, now we have these bone dragons. So they're like dragons that are like dead and now they're the like zombies or something and so they're undead bone dragon things that shoot fireballs like yeah, whatever <laughs> okay and, oh man face shot <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, you know what? Come at me. Come on. C- c- come, come at me. Come on. I got you. I got you. Ooh, hit me again. Yeah, well, we'll check this out. Yeah, that's right. Candle meat to the rescue. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. I think I said something before about stopwatch thing, how there's not a lot of stopwatches, but in this game, there's definitely a ton of daggers. I feel like they do this on purpose to mess with you, you know? I'm always trying to hang on to boomerangs, and I feel like that they always like to put a random dagger somewhere so you mess up and you hit it and you accidentally get this dagger and, and you realize, uh, crap, I don't want it. And sometimes you have to commit suicide, you know, so that you can kind of start over and maybe get some boomerangs and, I don't know, better than the damn daggers, I'll tell you what. Now listen to that soundtrack. There's a crazy flute solo going on. <laughs> listen to that flute solo. So great. All right, I'm going to help this guy climbing the wall out here. Oh, no. oh never mind. I killed him. Oh, man, then I killed these guys, too. <laughs> See, this is what I do with summon Belmont in this game. I just wreck the place. <laughs> All right, so my goal is to get up there to that staircase. And easy peasy. Okay, so here's how I kind of handle this part of the level, which I just, you know, hang out down here, and I find that you just whip upwards, and eventually you just win. Let me readjust myself. There we go. All right, come on, come on. And die. There you go. All right, moving on. Okay, now most people would say, ah, oh, just latch onto that, and then, you know, go across to that platform. And, you know, look, this isn't rocket science. This is what you do. Just hang out here and hit him from below. Just like this, people. See? Not rocket science at all. Oh, oh. <laughs> Speaking of rocket science, how about I get onto that platform, huh? Okay. Got past that. Heading up these stairs. And, of course, I get cheap shot by the ravens. <laughs> More of them. I love how I just flail my whip around. <laughs> so funny. Not dirty at all. Okay. Oh, hey. Candle meat. All right. I'm going to move on here. If I can get on the damn stairs. There we go. And just past this section, and we'll be on to the boss. And here we go. We are now on to the Orphic Vipers. Yes. As the bathtub fills up. <laughs> it would be funny if a rubber duck floated by. Anyway, this is just so slow. The processor's like, kill me. <laughs> Alright. This should prove the point of boomerangs, by the way. I'm just hanging out up here. And boom. He's dead. Okay, I'm just gonna pose. And done. Okay, well, that's an episode. Thanks for hanging around and watching. Feel free to like or subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the next one.